ever wonder how humans came to be? Was it a simple act of God or was it through billions of years of evolution? According to Evo Search for Eden, we all started off as little fishies and eventually evolved our way into what we are today. Evo was released on the Super NES back in 1992 and it's a platformer like RPG following the theme of evolution. Back then, I remember loving this game but it turns out it was probably because I was just a primitive stupid kid. While the idea for this game is certainly solid, it is outweighed by loads of other annoying elements that turn the EVO experience into a repetitive, frustrating grindfest. This game could have been so much better if it only spent a few more years evolving. So, as I said, we all started off as a fish. You literally begin the game being thrown in the deep end, surrounded by things that want to kill you. It's your job to survive, kill everything you can, defeat some bosses, and then evolve into the best creature possible so that you'll be granted entry into the Garden of Eden. Here, you can shack up with this hot set of pixels. How's that for motivation? However, things don't come easy. It soon becomes clear that there's an unknown force trying to screw up the natural evolution, and this creates loads of conflict through the eras that you'll visit. The best part of EVO is the evolution mechanic. After killing enemies for EVO points, you'll be able to upgrade various aspects of your creature, including your jaws, body, legs, and horns. This increases stats like HP, strength, jumping ability, and defense, which is crucial for taking on the more powerful creatures. You can create some pretty wacky looking creatures, which adds to the charm of the game. However, most of the time, your creatures will end up looking the same, based on the fact that there's usually a single most effective evolution for each body part. Evolving these body parts is not easy. It is a grind. You'll probably end up spending half the entire playtime with this game killing regular enemies over and over and over again just to accumulate enough EVO points. Yes, this will take a long time and this process is nowhere close to fun. After defeating the boss of the era, you'll evolve, enter a new era, then... Wait, come on! Why am I only doing one damage again? Each time you enter a new era, your stats basically reset and you're forced to being the weakling you were at the start of the previous era. And you guessed it, this is where the grind begins, all over again. With that said, you do have the option, only after collecting certain gems, to temporarily evolve back into one of your previous creatures. This means that you can turn into a powerhouse for a limited amount of time and collect loads of evo points with ease. However, since it's so temporary, it's hardly worth it. The gameplay is where the game leaves a lot to be desired. You can jump and attack, and your different evolutions dictate how this can be done. For instance, if you evolve with a long neck, you'll have more range, but this may also sacrifice your ability in other areas. While a few evolutions may be all it takes to go from zero to hero, it is still very easy to die. You can simply get stuck in front of an enemy, allowing them to unleash multiple attacks that will instantly kill you. I cannot tell you how annoying it is to die a cheap death after nearly defeating a boss. These bosses do work well most of the time. Evo kind of reminds me of an unevolved version of the Dark Souls series, as the bosses are crazy hard most of the time, and beating them will require you to learn the attack patterns and exploit them with perfect precision. Bosses are the reason why it's essential to have evolved to the maximum amount, otherwise you'll be dead in a single hit and deal next to no damage. But even when you do evolve to the max, you're still going to die many, many times by each boss, particularly at the end, and this is going to make you rip all your hair out. Each era presents a different looking region, and these are set up Super Mario style. To progress to the next section of the world, you'll have to pass the current section. This is pretty easy as the landscapes are very simple. It will usually only take a minute or so to travel from one end of the section to the other. That is, unless of course, it's time to grind. Which it probably will be, because that's basically all you'll be doing this game. Grinding and dying. Oh, and the grind is made so much worse by the repetitive background music. I often play this game on mute just to give my ears a rest. The idea behind Evo Search for Eden is solid. The journey through time and gradually evolving through the eras is a theme you don't see too often. And I'll admit it, it's fairly interesting to see where all the crazy evolutions can lead your creature. But this is the extent to which the game excels. The simple, often cruel, cruel gameplay needs a lot of work, the amount you're required to grind grows old very quickly, and the music is annoyingly repetitive, 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 repetitive. Why I remember liking this game so much, I'm not sure. At the end of the day, it's the developers that should have grinded more experience, as this game falls short in many areas. 
This was Hellfire RPGs, thanks for watching. If you liked this, then like, subscribe, and check out some of my other stuff. See you next time.